India is poised to become the new growth engine of the world. The policy mix that we have pursued during the recent years of multiple and unparalleled shocks has fostered macroeconomic and financial stability. The external sector also remains eminently manageable. The twin balance sheet stress that was encountered a decade ago has now been replaced by a twin balance sheet advantage with healthier balance sheets of both banks and corporates. Good morning, Namaskar. At the outset, uh, I would like to extend my season's greetings uh, to everyone. This is the monetary policy statement for the month of uh, October, and uh, this is how it uh, goes. Kautilya, in his Arthasastra more than 2,000 decades ago, had said, stability enables a state not only to share its wealth equitably, but also augment it. These words are relevant even today. In fact, they have eternal validity. Macroeconomic stability and inclusive growth are the fundamental principles underlying a country's progress. The policy mix that we have pursued during the recent years of multiple and unparalleled shocks has fostered macroeconomic and financial stability. The external sector also remains eminently manageable. The twin balance sheet stress that was encountered a decade ago has now been replaced by a twin balance sheet advantage with healthier balance sheets of both banks and corporates. India is poised to become the new growth engine of the world. The need of the hour is to remain vigilant and not give room to complacency. Lessons from the past one and a half decades and from living through the global financial crisis and the taper tantrum tell us that risks and vulnerabilities can grow even at good times. All stakeholders in the economy, be it lenders, corporates, businesses, both small and big, and even policymakers should continue to reinforce their buffers and fundamentals in the fast-changing world that we live in. So far as the Reserve Bank is concerned, we have identified high inflation as a major risk to macroeconomic stability and sustainable growth. According to our monetary, accordingly, our monetary policy remains resolutely focused on aligning inflation to the turn to the decisions and deliberations of the Monetary Policy Committee, that is the MPC. The MPC met on 4th, 5th, and 6th October 2023. After a detailed assessment of the evolving macroeconomic and financial developments and the outlook, it decided unanimously to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5%. Consequently, the standing deposit facility, that is SDF rate, and the bank rate remain at, uh, sorry, uh, consequently, the standing deposit facility rate remains at 6.25%, and the marginal standing facility, that is MSF rate, and bank rate at 6.7%. The MPC also decided by a majority of five out of six members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns to the target while supporting growth. Now, you may say that this is a status quo policy. Yes, to the extent that the rate and the stance remained unchanged, it is a status quo policy. But there are many aspects of the statement and our policy, which I am going to now spell out, which will reflect, which will reveal and give an idea about our approach not only to monetary policy, but also to various aspects of monetary policy as we move forward during this, uh, amidst this uh, global challenges and headwinds. I shall now briefly set out the MPC's rationale for 
these decisions on the policy rate and the stance. Headline inflation has surged in July, driven by tomato and other vegetable prices. It corrected partly in August and is expected to see further easing in September on the back of moderation of these prices. A silver lining amidst all these is declining core inflation, that is CPI inflation excluding food and fuel. The overall inflation outlook, however, is clouded by uncertainties from the fall in kharif sowing for certain key crops like pulses and oil seeds, lower reserve oil levels, and volatile global food and energy prices. The MPC observed that the recurring incidence of large and overlapping food price shocks can impart generalization and persistence to headline inflation. Economic activity, on the other hand, has remained resilient. Taking into account the evolving inflation growth dynamics and the cumulative policy repo rate hike of 200 basis points, 250 basis points, which is still working through the economy, the MPC decided to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5% in this meeting of the MPC. The transmission of the 250 basis points increase in the policy repo rate to bank lending and deposit rates is still incomplete and hence the MPC decided to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation. The MPC remains highly alert and prepared to undertake timely policy measures as may be necessary in order to align inflation to the target and anchor inflation expectations. Uh, I would now like to provide an assessment of uh, the growth and inflation scenario to begin with global growth. Let me turn to a detailed assessment of the growth and inflation dynamics starting with the external environment. As I just mentioned, the global economy is slowing under the impact of tight financial conditions, protracted geopolitical tensions and increasing geoeconomic fragmentation. Global trade is contracting. Headline inflation is easing but rules above the target in major economies. Headline, uh, while major central banks are signaling a peaking of their rate hike cycle, there are indications that the tight monetary policy stance could persist for longer than anticipated earlier.